M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. You know I'm a big fan of the OpenGD77 system. So I've just set up the APRS, this is analog version, not DMR, on my DM1701 and I'm testing it with my FT5. So if I just quickly key the mic, keep your, keep your eyes on the screen of the FT5. Let's go back, we just wanna transmit. And look there, you saw that, okay. So one million percent, it works. Right, so let me just show you my setting, settings in my co-plug. On the actual radio, just select the channel. But remember the red button, if you press it once, that's VFO mode. If you press and hold it, you go to A and B, but if you just press it again, just briefly, then you can select channels. You can go up and down your different channels, or you can just go menu, then go up to a zone, select, and I've got different zones with different channels in, and I've created a new zone called APRS, and when I select that, there's only one channel in it at the moment, that's why it wouldn't let me go up and down, because I've only got one channel in it. So let me just show you the channel creation. Let's move that out of the way. So first thing is zone. Double click zone. And to create a new zone, you just right click and go um, add. Okay, just literally right click, add. So let's just, for example's sake, we'll just the zone four that just appeared, right click, uh, rename, and we'll just call it APRS2. That's how you create a zone. Now we'll go to the channel. So underneath the word APRS2, you've got the word channel. And when you click this, it's going to add, it's going to list every single channel on your radio. So we're interested in creating one called APRS. So if we just go to, we can go right click and go add, and that will probably add it right at the bottom. Yeah, the channel I just created. I know it's all in Chinese. I need to convert all that. But let's just go to a channel. So we'll just click this one here that's called channel nine. And it will open a new window called channel nine. Move this out of the way. So this is actually quite easy. Select analog. Then in England it's 144.900. Actually 800, it's not the USA. And just click the arrow and it puts it across. Now the name, let's call it APRS2, APRS2. I'll leave the power level, I'll leave the timeout, so all this I'll leave the same, but we are going to select APRS. Now I've got this choice here of choosing APRS144, it's a name that I've given. So we have chosen it and I'll tell you how you get that choice because that is crucial. So just close that a minute. If we go back to, I'm going to show all these other things, just keep it simple. If we go back to up here, you've got a tab called, and this is the latest CPS, so make sure you've got that. It's 2024, it's the 5th, 24th of May, 2024. I'll put the link in to make sure you have got it. So double click APRS and you get this window appear. Now this is where you create your APRS analog information. So double click, uh, let's click add. And so we'll leave it called APRS2. I haven't actually changed wide one and wide two. I left that all alone. Yeah, and I. I could have put a comment in in the other one. I think I did. It was ham tech. So I just, in this one, I'll put um, hello two. Okay, and longitude and latitude. So I I tend to copy that from this site called longitude and latitude. You just put in your location. It's got advertising annoyingly, but I just copy it and I put it into the software. So there's the right click. Oh, I didn't pay, so I'm just going to type it in. So 51.396. And then down here, it's going to be minus 2.9, I think. I'm just guessing now. And the board rate, I've left it at 1,200. And it says here, yeah, you can use use this position or not. I'm guessing some radios have GPS, maybe. I'll just put that in, I'll tick that box. So we called it APRS2, so close that. So now, when we go back to the channel, so go back up to your little channel tab, 
look for the one that we called APRS2. Here it is just here on the left. It'll reopen that window. And we don't have to select the APRS144 anymore. We've got an extra choice because we've just created a new, a new setting. Okay, so we want to find that channel. So what you need to do now is go back to your your um, your zones. So double click where is zone zone. Go back to your APRS zone and just make sure you've added that APRS two channel in. So this is all on the left is all of your channels. You can add any channel you want here. But I want to in my APRS two zone. I want to put in my the new channel I just created. Add. And I can put the other one in there as well if I want to, you know, APRS. I've got them both in there now. So now I'm just going to write that to the radio. So we go program, write. Um, is it, oh, I need to connect the cable to my PC one sec. Right, it's connected. So we're just going to go, let's close that again. Okay, there was no port. And we'll do that again. So remember to get the right cable. So we go right, and when it's the right cable, it will just go in. Yeah, I get the one from Amazon, the link that I put in. So there you are. All done. So it's in the radio now. So on the radio, I'm gonna select the channel. So we'll go menu. Uh, choose the zone, so green button, go up to APRS2, select, now we should have two channels in there, we have, look, let's test APRS2, because actually, this is a first time test, so if it fails, don't worry, so I'll just delete it from my FT5, we'll just go F menu, S list, and we'll just delete the one that we did, hit the grid, and then you can delete it, because otherwise it, does, it only shows it up the first time. Click OK. Then it just puts it in the list. I like it to populate the whole screen, because it's more fun. So anyway, um, oh yeah, we need to tell the radio to how it's going to transmit. So what I did is I went into green, and go to, let me have a look now. Could be the top button. Actually, let's go top, the very top button press and then go down to where is it it's going to find the APRS transmit setting so you go menu green button and this will work on the RT3S as well then you go select options then now you look for APRS options select and look you go up and down you can change other parameters look you've got location there GPS Anyway, mode PTT. Um, so to change that mode, you just look, turn, I put PTT. Now we'll back out. So in theory, when we're on this channel and we did select and tell it to use the APRS in the list, if we key, ta da, we've got it working. Now, <clears throat> I'll send it back, but that's the new one is um, how does it receive and what does it do when it receives. So, but we'll do it anyway, go F. You can hear it received it, but does it put it anywhere? That's the bit I, I still to learn, but I think that's enough. Just the fact that you can get on your radio and start sending APRS is a, is a good starting point. The next video is how to do this without having to use the software, which is completely doable. Um, it's not much different than creating a channel because all the parameters for your APRS you just saw. Uh, we go menu uh, options. You can see oh, select it again. <clears throat> all the parameters are in that setting anyway, so that's the easy bit. Just go down mode GPS. A lot of these I didn't change. Yeah, so there wasn't much to change there. But then it's really about actually just creating a channel. So if you go back to VFO mode, um, remember we're in A now, hold it for B. And if you go green button, go to channel details. There are shortcuts, but anyway. Now if you go down through, you can set everything. Yeah. 
and then you can save it to a channel on the radio and you've effectively done the same thing but i want to do a separate video on that thanks for watching my youtube channel bye for now